Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we are live swatching Serpentine from Ethereal Lacquers. So this collection is dropping Friday, April 16th at 8 p.m. CDT. And we will have pricing down below in the description box as it becomes available. So if you love live swatches, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And we are starting right off with Venom. This is described as a soft white matte cream, and that is exactly what it is. I'm going to be wearing two coats in my swatch picture, and I am in love with it. I didn't even put a top coat on because I wanted you guys to be able to see how beautifully matte it is. And it has to be one of my favorites of this whole collection. Next up is Sunset Aphidia. This one also is being worn in two coats. It's a pale sunset pink tint version of Ophidia. And it's got a cream base with strong red to green shifting shimmer. So I missed out on Ophidia. But I feel like sometimes the universe knows my soul because I like this one better because I wasn't sure how a Ethidia would look on me. So I'm extremely happy that Ethereal decided to revisit that really popular formula and give it a little something extra for those of us who still want that vibe but missed out on the original. Also, um, if you guys are wondering, uh, ethereal polishes run anywhere between $12.50 to $14. So that's a price point until we can get the actual pricing. And right now what you're seeing is Python. This one is a magnetic and you guys can see me. I'm already lost in playing with the magnetic polish through the bottle. I don't know why I do this, but I have so much fun doing it. Let me know down in the comments if you guys do this as well. And if you're enjoying this video, leave me a like. So this one is described as a one coater earthy sienna base with a strong silver magnetic shimmer for ultimate glam neutral. So just so y'all know, the strong silver magnetic shimmer is there, but it doesn't look silver because of the pigments. And I don't know about anybody else, but I was absolutely thrilled about it because I have silver magnetics already. So I really like the fact that this one doesn't appear silver magnetic in my opinion. I absolutely hands down love this one. And next up is Copperhead. This one is described as a warm earthy cognac hollow with a smooth buttery formula. So like I hesitated to even say smooth buttery formula because I have yet to run into an ethereal polish that wasn't. Like the formulas are always absolutely perfect. And the brush, as you can see, I don't have problems with spilling. I don't have problems with it all over my sidewalls or fighting to get it into the back end of my cuticle. I just, it makes me happy. And this is what I mean by those like mega strong hollows. And I wanted to make sure that you guys got a chance to see them all side by side. I try to do that if I can. So four fingers this time. And we've got from pinky to index. We've got Venom, Sunset, Python, and Copperhead. And next up is Viper. This one's described as a chartreuse cream with self-leveling properties, and it's a one-coater. So if you are loving a Prugly and you haven't gotten one by Ethereal yet, this polish is for you with its magnificent 
formula and beautiful pigmentation, fantastic opacity, and it's just a hair darker in person than on my swatch picture. Next up is Taipan or Taipan. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but I'm going to go with Taipan. This one is described as a gray base with green to blue to violet shifting shimmer and hollow flakies. So, of course, I naturally fell in love with it because I love that particular shift combination because I'm normally not drawn to greens unless they have a little blue in them. And I love blues that have purple in them. So that transition in and of itself had me absolutely blown away. I think it's so gorgeous and so pretty and perfect for this collection. And I know you guys are like, what? Is that straight up flakies? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. This beautiful polish. I just, oh my goodness. It can be worn alone in like three coats, but it can also be worn as a topper. But I'll tell you more right now about Cobra. Cobra is described as a deepened navy base full of iridescent rainbow flakies. And I can't believe that I don't have one like this already because it's so perfect for me. I completely fell in love with it. And I was just like, wow, I can't wait to wear it over the other colors in the collection because we have um, the serpent that it's going to look great over. It would look great over Viper. And I feel like you could even put it over Venom if you wanted. There's so many options. But here we are with Serpent, which is the second to the last polish of this collection, which means our video is almost done. This one is described as an emerald jelly cream for layering. It's specifically for layering. So bring on all your sandwiches and all of your dreams of sandwiching these colors together. But what I especially liked is the fact that it's so smooth and it goes on evenly for that first coat. What always worries me about jelly formulas is on that first coat am I going to layer it with flakies and then it's not even and I end up having to do two coats and now it doesn't look jelly anymore at all because jellies are so highly pigmented but they're not opaque. I didn't have that problem with this polish and I was very happy about it and then I decided that I wanted to show you guys all of them together. So pinky to index. We've got Viper, Taipan, Cobra, and Serpent. And I think particularly those last three look awesome together. So there will be some nail art pictures popping up on Instagram. So if you're not following me already, it's Manny centric on Instagram as well. And then we have our very, very last polish of this collection. This one is called Mamba and it is a bold black to red multi-chrome. And I love that Ethereal kept the whole description seriously simple, but this is such a complex formula. So while you may have seen it done before, I guarantee that you haven't seen it in a formula as smooth as Ethereal's. So for all of those true blue, absolute Ethereal collectors, now there is a black to red multi-chrome from Ethereal just for your collection. And that means my time is up. So... Thank you all so much for your time today and hanging out with me. If you're part of my nail fam, thank you for your precious time. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. As always, take care of yourselves and each other. 
and I will see you in my next video. Bye!